that they've been making to the American people for seven years by repealing and replacing Obamacare. I know you guys are probably a little bit tired since we've been here a while. So you want to skip on the questions? <laughs> I figured it was worth it. Figured it was worth a shot. Uh, and with that, I'll take your questions, uh, Charlie. Recently, Breitbart News uh, challenged the accuracy of a CNN story, and afterwards it was retracted, um, deleted, and the editors responsible were fired, and, as well as the network apologized for the story. Um, the target of this, one of the targets of the story, except the apology, the president went on Twitter this morning and repeated that CNN was fake news. Why isn't their response good enough for the president? Uh, I, I don't know that it's that the response isn't good enough for the pro president. Uh, I think it's the constant barrage of fake news directed at this president probably that uh, has garnered a lot of his frustration. Um, you point to that report. Uh, there are multiple other instances where uh, that outlet that you referenced has been repeatedly wrong and had to point that out or be corrected. Uh, there's a video circulating now, whether it's accurate or not, uh, I don't know, but I would encourage everybody in this room and frankly everybody across the country to take a look at it. Uh, I think if it is accurate, I think it's a disgrace to all of media, to all of journalism. I think that we have gone to a place where uh, if the media can't be trusted to report the news, then that's a dangerous place for America. And I think if that is the place that certain outlets are going, particularly uh, for the purpose of spiking ratings, and if that's coming directly from the top, I think that's even more scary uh, and certainly more disgraceful. And I hope that that's not the direction we're headed. I hope that uh, outlets that have continued to use either unnamed sources, sometimes stories with no sources at all. Uh, we've been going on this Russia-Trump hoax for the better part of a year now with no evidence of anything. Uh, things like the success at the VA barely get covered. They may get covered for an hour at a time, but this story gets covered day in, day out. And I think America is frankly looking for something better. They're looking for something more. Uh, and I think they deserve something better from our news media. Actually expect does I'm the sorry. President actually expect us not to report on stories of a foreign country trying to influence the presidential election. Uh, I, I don't think it's that it's expected that you're not to report on, um, again, actual news if there's something there. But again, I, I think that there are a lot of things happening in this world that, frankly, a lot of people would like to hear about, whether it's job growth, whether it's deregulation, whether it's tax reform, health care. I think a lot of those things deserve a lot more coverage than they get. And all we're saying is, you know, I think that we should take a really good look at what we are focused on, what we are covering, and making sure that it's actually accurate and it's honest. If we make the slightest mistake, the slightest word is off, it is uh, just an absolute tirade from a lot of people in this room. But news outlets get to go on day after day and cite unnamed sources, use uh, stories without sources, have, uh, you know, you mentioned the Scaramucci story, where they